Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to extend the length of a shaft of a trolling motor. Now the reason for this is if you have a smaller pound thrust trolling motor typically the shaft is going to be 30 to 36 inches. So if you want a longer shaft for say a bow application of a transom type of trolling motor then the shaft will be too short and you're going to have to jump up in price to get the longer shaft. So by extending the shaft, it'll allow you to use the inexpensive trolling motor even on a bow application. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now that the bolt has been removed, this is what the top of your shaft is going to look like that's still connected to your trolling motor. And you have this through hole here for your bolt setup, which is going to attach to your new extension. These are the parts you're going to need for this project. First, you're going to have your one inch piece of PVC pipe. Then you'll also have a three quarter inch piece of PVC pipe. And then depending on which way you decide to finish the project, you're going to have this one inch 90 degree connector and then you also have this one inch to three quarter inch adapter PVC piece. So for this part of the project I have the section of the trolling motor shaft in a vise and I've wrapped it with a piece of paper towel to keep from scratching it and you can see the bolt hole here. Now I'm doing it in the vise just to show you the methods I'm going to be using to make the extension fit. While it's still on your trolling motor, you'll have to come up with some other kind of way to make the sizing of the PVC pipe fit over it, or you can just get a similar diameter pole or piece of pipe and use that instead. So what you're going to do is I've measured this piece of PVC pipe with this mark so it will go down about three inches over the trolling motor shaft and what I want to do is heat this up with a heat gun and then press it on top until I reach that line of three inches okay so what I did was I heated up the PVC pipe until it was pliable enough to slip over the section of the trolling motor shaft like so and so that's about it where I wanted it. And then what I'm going to do now is just let it cool off. And then it'll harden back into the stretched out form that we're going to be using to make our extension. Now once you have the PVC pipe formed to the way you want it on the shaft, just take your heat gun again and just warm it up enough not to deform it and make it too soft but to be able to twist it off your trolling motor shaft like that and you can see how it's deformed a little bit so it'll slide over the shaft again this is the underside view of the trolling motor head. Now this is where the three quarter inch PVC pipe is going to be used. It's going to go right into here into the base where the trolling motor shaft was. And it is a little loose so if you want to wrap it up with some tape just to pick up the slack you could do that but it's not really necessary because you're going to either mark or drill straight through with a bit in order to slide the bolt through and attach it. Now that all the pieces are done and everything's ready to put together, here is my piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe with the hole already drilled for the bolt. This is the one inch to three quarter inch adapter, which will go here. And then this is the one inch PVC pipe that's been flared out and drilled 
for the hole that's on the shaft of the trolling motor and that will slide in like this and of course you're going to want to use PVC glue in all these joints after you've lined everything up and you know what's going to work right that's the time to glue it together because once you put that together with that glue you're not going to have much time to line stuff up so just make sure everything lines up before you do that final process once everything is dry fit as I said earlier then you can go ahead and mark it where you know you need to line everything up so when you add the glue and as you can see here what I did was put these little marks once everything is lined up so I'll know where everything should be once I put the PVC hot glue in there. So this is the final product. You can see that I have a lot more length in the shaft once everything's connected. And I'll just get a little close-up on it. Here is the bolt that I drilled out for that goes through the original bolt in the shaft. And then up here you have the step down to the three-quarter inch which is also bolted into the head. So the only thing left to do now is paint it. Now this would be the other configuration if you wanted to use a steering control arm on it. You would just put this 90 on the top and then run all your wiring out through there. Now of course in both of these types of modifications you're gonna have to extend the wires and I suggest using marine shrink fit butt connectors in order to do that so that's it if you have any questions please leave them for me in the comments thank you